Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the Pride and Fall demo mod for Hearts of Iron Forum. Your host, Mr. Mobile Lover. But we're doing still partial success at the conference, which I can't remember if I read this or not. But we got quite a few comments to go through, and uh, yeah, we'll kind of go from there. But I guess a coalition of necessity. The best we can do is at least act on the compromises, group up, and form an alliance. Strength in numbers is the only thing that could save us now, because that's all we have left. Just a both a boon and a curse, granting us a force that seemingly could crush us, crush about anyone. Well, just seemingly. So, um. Got some comments too, so actually quite a few of the, the mod developers have actually were you know, watching the last video, which is awesome. So thank you to the, the mod developers who are, you know, watching. So it's awesome, 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 awesome. Um one of the comments was well, uh, another comment was thank you for trying out the mod from another another one of the developers. Uh, so and the pro tip from this person was in case you never want to try achieve to achieve total dialogue and unite the voivodeship without any bloodshed, and keep reusing those dialogue decisions to gain more influence with the warlords. That you'll be able to finish those focuses in the assembly tree that unlock more impactful dialogue decisions, and thus gain enough influence over all the warlords at the same time. Which actually seems to be very, very difficult. Um, so, so, and he also says, uh, since you are already reading every flavor text down to the ones in the decisions, you might want to peek at the descriptions in the tech tree as well. Interesting. We'll go there next. But broken dreams. Gil Piatek was observing Halloween from his office. Uh, he'd been leaning over the desk, looking at the map of the Voivode ship, lying in front of him. He's been like that for 20 minutes. It's not going to work, he finally says. Woodsy won't work with the bloodthirsty capitals from the consortium. Half of the scouts hates the Brotherhood for the air pollution, and the second half can't stand Sapkowski's parody of Catholicism. To make matters worse, Ziemkiewicz claims that if Elander's Agarian ideas will spread, we'll suffer from the power blackouts. By the end of the tirade, his voice was breaking. Surely something can be done. Gail Piatek was trying to comfort, comfort the president. She was still salty about him removing her from the position of the head of the government, but she understood that placating the warlords was too important. By, by more wars, death, and destruction, Hannah? Halloween was barely holding it together. Her, his eyes were going watery. In his mind, he never managed to live up to his political potential, popular enough to potentially beat Duda in 2020. But not enough popular enough to make it to the second round, capable enough to organize provisional government in Bielosk, uh, Bielstok, unable to secure it from falling to Konowich. Not terrible, but always lacking in one way or the other. He couldn't stand failing or falling to provide peace in the void for this ship. He can't force people to get along if they're not willing. And Gil Piatek wasn't going to give up. Maybe total peace was too ambitious, but you can still save many lives. Look, she pointed at the map. While the Wudu hates Skrudelski... Oh, Skrudel... Skrud... Oh, my God. Skrudelski's guts... They have nothing to work against working with any other factions. The same goes for the consortium. It won't be perfect, but it's still better than total chaos. That only should we do nothing. You're right, you could tell. He still wasn't that eager to accept that. The most probable result, end result, won't be completely identical to the one he planned. But he'll have to accept the harsh reality, just as uh, she accepted the new vice president. After all, compromise is what dialogue is all about. Interesting. Someone says, you need to see Toros Asylum and its leader. So, uh, chaos within her ranks. Oh boy. Chaos at the home front. Oh. Oh, completed conflicted soldiers. Oh, more attacking defense is nice. More organization is good. I don't want to lose any manpower though. Oh, what do we want first? Population, army XP gain, fighting the good fight. Oh, huh. not bad. Guess at home. Growth efficiency, rebuilding the city, pay extra for overtime, new transport routes, sync up our routes or networks. Hmm. That's not bad. I guess, guess within our ranks. Our army do not know what to do. Who is our enemy? Who is our friend? Who do we shoot and who do we not? Nobody's sure and that's not even the worst part. The sheer amount of differences in doctrine and army makeup across the coalition states have made it utter hack to form any sort of organized military efforts. So, let's see. I'm not even sure this is the right name. Right here. God Godish City of Bialystok. What the heck? Konowich. I think that's how you pronounce it. I could be wrong. What the heck is this? You're a little. Bit... Uh. What type of ideology is he part of? Uh. Oh. Uh. Okay. Well, that's something that I didn't think I'd be reading today, but okay, sure. Why not? Um. We only have 15 divisions, but, you know, we'll do the best we can. Another uh, comment says Greetings from Poland, a beautiful modification. Oh, well, the Polish and L is like a W. How, how, huh? Like a W, eh? L, like L with a slash through it. So, ho, wo, we know? And O with a thing above it. It's like, ooh, as in look. Okay, interesting. Oh, Brother Das is a gun. Well, people are killing each other now. 
Um, conflicted soldiers. Just weeks ago, everyone was yelling at each other, calling themselves the true heirs of uh, Wojcicki, and that everyone else was like a usurper, but now all of a sudden they have to put aside their differences. This is unfortunately led to a mounting tension between all of our soldiers who have had a hard time letting go of the rhetoric preached by their leaders up until recently, often leading to heated arguments or even full on fights. We do something about this if we intend to even have a remnant of a functioning standing army. Alright, so. Uh, unify it would be nice, but we don't. Can't. Trench a liberal mindset. Um, this stuff is not terrible to do either. Weapons dealers, resource gathering. Eh, we'll probably close out of this one for now. So, can we just go to war with them? I don't know. <clears throat> Guess on the home front, too, would be nice to read. What conflicted soldiers are next? Uh, our people are, are simply confused. They don't know what or who to believe, but put, put their, put their uh, faith and trust in. This contains a great issue at some point, or at some, especially zealous cities have been crippled by strikes and protests, both caught in the formation of the coalition. The crown of the dialogue is a failed project. It's only been hammered in by the chaos of the unfinished, undamaged, and barricaded road networks. Major energy fluctuations and all sorts of other issues seem to appear daily. Uh, we have to reverse this downward spiral now, or there won't be any hope for the woes key. Everyone's killing each other. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Commander's in turmoil. Seems that even higher military staff is corruptible by the old ideals of the cliques. They may not get into brawls with the rest of their staff, but they have taken every possible opportunity to attempt to humiliate their peers or undermine each other's efforts. Much like the privates, however, they cannot help but throw vicious remarks at each other. If they don't get along, then how will we be served as a shining example for their subordinates? Haphazardly merge of governance. Uh, current politics and alliance are one giant tug of war between factions. Our politicians are figuratively ripping each other apart during conferences and meetings, leading to nowhere. It's going to be temporarily fixed by merging the most agreeable and lenient parts of all of our governments into an interim wartime committee. Joyce is far from the best one, however, the only solution we can put into motion in a very limited time before the inevitable conflict erupts. Pull all our ships together. <clears throat> Separately, we all just own about nothing. But together, we own a big old chunk of the avoided bit of ship. We cannot squander all this untapped potential by putting all of our best men, weapon, caches, and daily consumer products together. Everything in one place. Where do we use it as a new beep? Nobody will hold out on others and make deals behind our backs only if we stand at the center of a coalition's logistics and economy. We can all get a holdout. <coughs> Bring uh, order to the chaos. It's time to stop. Okay, from now on, we'll be dishing out harsh reprimands to both commanders and troops on the ground, scaling in severity based on rank. Uh, they'll act like adults, or they'll be mopping up the latrines until their backs snap like toothpicks. We didn't want it to come to this, but it seems that this is the only language these morons understand. So, yeah. And boom. I'll do that just in case. Furbishall trucks. Sure. Stock piles of vehicles that were once used by the army lay scattered around the warehouses and woods, and have made the discussion decision a woods. A woods? Well, I'm not sure. I made the decision to put them together back into circulation. The need for fast deployment and better logistics has become a must. Now that the war is looming on the horizon, let's hope we don't have to start confiscating civilian vehicles, though. <coughs> let's hope so. A lot of political power, though. Not bad. And we want to rebuild the city next. I'm getting kind of worried with all, everyone getting bigger. As much as we like to try to hide it, Woods, Woods has not gone completely untouched during the fall. We managed to fix up or at least hide any noticeable ruins, disguising some as renovations and projects meant to revitalize our city. Our people may have gone used to endless renovations before the fall, but we cannot go on like this. All the scaffolding and rubble catching uh, net facades will be facades no longer, as we'll fund a wide reaching project to actually rebuild Woods. Woods? Woods? Polishing up uh, on military tactics. As Woods now mostly relies on the city guard and the minuscule remnants of the territorial forces to defend our city from looters, bandits and ordinary criminals will pop up from time to time, however, to, to, all, to call these forces an army would be simply laughable. We'll be organizing proper training courses for our troops so they know which side of the roughs to shoot out from and which color outfits to not aim at. Call upon reservists. <clears throat> Guns with no one to shoot at, uh, or no one to shoot them. That's a sad state of our armed forces everywhere else in Wuzutski. Wudski, and probably the rest of the Poland, the opposite is true. We've done our best to avoid ramping our militarization policy up until now, however, in times like these, we need everyone we can afford. Anyone who's ever received proper military training before the fall was called up to serve in a hodgepodge army, if it can even be called that. <coughs> we got all of that one's done. It's 2028. 20, um, 
Revised fire director? Oh, it's a little bit ahead of time. A little bit ahead of time. Chef's knife. Ah, I love it. We're making knives. Another comment says, um, someone says, Hey, Mr. Ahoy for Mocha Lover. Have you heard of the formation of the Bulgarian Yugoslav in Kazarida? Or Kazarik? I don't know about that in Kazarik. I don't think so. Someone says, The Euro Protectorat Cheshin flag looks like a certain kingfish flag from the Second American Civil War. Uh, are they alive still? I don't think so. Deutschland is. He oh my god, no, they're all dead. Merchant Republic. Kampfgruppe. Look that. Oh. Hmm. Wait, is it? Oh, this one? Oh, huh? Well, maybe a little bit. Why is it Japanese? Okamura? Bohemio Nippon. Uh, okay. Sure, why not? But yeah, actually, for overtime. Our work skills have so far been fairly lax, it's mostly staying as they were before the falls, as we did our best to avoid shattering the illusion of normality we're so carefully constructed. Our solutions have been brought to our attention by Medic Belka. We can give our workers greater incentives for working overtime in sectors that need stepping up the most. After all, who would, who would mind working a few more hours for extra cash? Um, someone says, if Tino, if the fix, if, oh, or if, and Tino, can you play as progressive MCS? Well, I have tried to, but my game keeps crashing currently. When I try to get her. We'll coordinate our war bureaus. Another uh, soldiers are behaving somewhat normally. We can work on getting our forces heads of staff to click together in an orderly manner. Creating one unified army command. That's a step in that direction. The headquarters will be in Wotz, of course. And also be commanding the forces of the respective states. This time in tandem with others, however. New transport routes. The roads connecting our void visit ship have mostly fallen into disrepair in the years following the, the fall. Gas regards become so scarce and it's only been reserved for the military in the most places, leading them to becoming a ruined mess. Not that big of a step up from what they were before the fall, though. Well, now we have to connect them all up, since we don't really want to be driving our trucks and direct civilians to the local farms and forests. <coughs> Sync up our networks. How's this one? We should quell any concerns people have about a coalition's stability and well-being, and what better ways to do that than good old propaganda? A few inspiring speeches, even simple flowers and posts, will go a long way in rallying people around a single cause. Our sisters will stand shoulder to shoulder, ready to brave through what may come in the future. Someone says, and the next time you play this mod, can you play the Prussians? Eh, maybe. Yeah, but I don't think they have unique focus to you, though, but they might, but I don't think they do. Um, Singapore Networks. Gas lines, water pipes, power lines, everything. Ever since the borders of what remains of the Woodski avoid the ship solidified, practically all networks were cut off from each other. Both to save resources for ourselves and not to help our potential enemies. Well, those choices that seemed so great at the time have come back to haunt us, as all of these basic necessities need to be connected up again. Setting up hundreds of new electric poles and groundwork for new pipes have become a practical necessity to hold up. Oh, hold on. Oh, my bad. Uh, our, the weight of our alliance. So let's get to work. Work is the front line. Workers, in many regards, are like soldiers. They work at the very bottom layers of our state, yet they contribute so much to it. They work jobs nobody would want to work for the benefit of our people. Our workers need to see their own worth to us. We'll need them to be as motivated as possible in the next weeks, and a bit of encouragement like that will make all the difference. Yeah. Another comment from the last video says, This is just kind of like Volat New Vegas mod, but in Europe. <coughs> Fighting the good fight. A conflict is inevitable, and everyone knows that. That's why we need everyone to be on the board when the time comes. We'll frame the upcoming conflict as a war of good and evil. The humble, peaceful supporters of the Woods are being assailed by evil incarnate, bringers of death, and all kinds of treachery. A real story of David and Goliath? Well, that's probably a bit over exaggerated, but you now look at the point. Cool. <coughs> One thing I do like, though, the mod moves very fast. We did our best. You know, time's up, the coalition foreigners will combat us. Uh, to combat us and starting to gather down on our borders. A preemptive strike is the only way we can get an upper hand on them now since our methods of fixing the issues. Trouble in our state, have, for the most part, failed. Let's hope what we did was enough because that's all we have left. So, when can we go to war if we have to go to war? Like, this is a mess. This is a huge, huge mess. Is that an encirclement? That's a giant encirclement. Gala, huh? Waffen money. Peasant's Guard. And then you have the Slovaks. Wow, no. Let that be our legacy. We did it. Despite uh, all odds, we beat back our enemies and managed to get the entire Void ship under control. Huh. The dialogue has been proven successful, even though it was scarred in the first place. Now it's rejoice to celebrate, our ship is finally united again. Huh. And 
Christmas tree, huh? There's a lot of stuff here. Of course, they have a very slow to convert the brain drain that a country suffered for during the fall. Their best. Well, is that it? Quite a few divisions. Trying to do what was best. Dialogue sphere, huh? Funny guys, funny guys. Um, countering economic chaos. I mean, this looks really good. Anything else we could do? We should get an event eventually, right? Because this one says compromise, compromise. It's not like it, it's like it, we hoped it would be. The great mediator of Woods I thought to himself, the plan was to gather all warlords among one common goal so that already we can avoid his ship will stand strong against its enemies. And instead, not everyone's eager to join a permanent united front and stand against, stand against us. The fall of the combined power of our allies and their opposition is futile, and we will only result in the unnecessary loss of lives. Having the fall taught them that clinging to power, no matter what, leads only to destruction. As he pondered, most of Lot's militia spoiled by dealing with only the withered drug addicts was finishing its training under the suppression of the Tache. Um... Uh, sent by the Allied Warlords. It's their last training session before they will experience a regular warfare for the first time in their lives. The last step to peace in Woodski. Oh! Oh! Okay, then. Uh. Bruh. How are we supposed to know that we're supposed to go to... You guys go in, maybe? Uh, are we even going to be able to, like, win this? How are we supposed to be able to win this? Sure. Um. We are still a disarmed nation, which seems kind of like a mistake in my opinion, but whatever. How are we with them too? I'm glad we're not really fighting them though. That's good. Uh, yeah, it's not good, man. It's not good. How are we supposed to win? They have so much manpower, and we have like nothing. We might have to use cons commands for this one. Yeah, we're definitely gonna use cons commands because there's just there's no way you can win against all these guys. Uh, so I guess I'll see you in a little bit after we totally don't use cons commands. To make sure that we can actually do okay in this war. State of Woods unifies Woods avoid the ship. Ever since the tragic accident in Wawuti. It seems the most most of the past of Woods the Void Buddha ship was due to spire and insanity, with various ideologically outlandish cliques securing both large swaths of land and large followings in the region. The victory in the region, however, was the government of the city of Woods and it was balanced diplomatic approach with one in the end. The day is in Hawawina, the head of the Woods government and the mediator in the diplomatic talks concerning the Bawuti incident, proclaimed that all the Woods uh, Void Buddha ship has been united under a single flag after winning the war for a Woodski together with his coalition of local cliques. Newly born state aims to become a fully democratic republic that takes every citizen's opinion and worldview into account. Now that Hawawina united the whole Voivodeship, ship, however, the public's neighbors have started preparing their best orators to engage the state of Woods on the. the loads of Woods on the uh, diplomatic battlefield. Does this count as a happy ending? Well, honestly, I'd use consequences, at least for the first two, because it, it, you can't. I, they, there's nothing you can do. Like, they, they completely outnumber you, and you, there's nothing. It, it's not very fun. 
It's way too it's way too difficult trying to fight all those guys together, so. Um, I think that might be it for us. That might be the end of the demo. And southern Greater Poland. There's Greater Poland. Uh I don't know what uh, Greater Southern Poland is. We have a lot of core too. I mean, we have a lot of core. But uh we can't take this decision. Southern Greek German minority unifies Opolski. Uh, okay. Range of tree, sure, why not? Um So there's us. The free fisherman army. Got a mustache. Um, these guys are right there. Peasants, guards, all fighting each other. So it sounds like we should be able to fight and unite the southern portion here, but I don't know like when that's going to happen. You guys are still fighting up here too, huh? Can you actually reunify all of Poland? I guess that's my question. Deblin? Deblin? Huh. Oh. You got a big old mustache. Belarusian state. Interesting. Free army. Polish Angling Association. Oh, is that different? He's like, are you for real, man? Um, I don't want an episode yet, because, like, are we supposed to get another, like, war goal against anybody, or what? Because I really have no idea. Um, there's a republic down here. Oh, Russian invention fails. A miracle in the Mazurian Lakes? Oh, standoff in Moscow. The Belenese Crusade begins. Well, look at that. That's actually really cool. They actually took all the territory back. I like that line there. That's nice. Moscow surrounded. August coup went. Um, so I guess do we just keep corn? I guess. Secret of war. The other bear is dead and kept fighting for the corpse of flesh. Chechnya's head TikToker. Are you for real, Ramzan Kadyrov? Oh, Russians of war. Oh, Republic of Russia, Ukraine, of course, like normal. Russian for well, I guess we can't really see that, can we? Um, n oh, look at this new Zion. What? Uh. Okay then. United States of Polonia. Kolonko. So the Merchant Republic. Um. Keep going. Uh, for freshman, uh, KGHM. Schlesien, of course. Thurstenstadt. He looks like a crusader or a priest or something. So, energy 1950. Ah, reconnecting the web. That's cool. This is so weird. Short range missiles. Description. Cryptology level, I guess. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, well, let's try to core everything first. Maybe we can feel good about that. Now, this guy. Salute. Alright. Melek. Aviation works. Upper Cilicia. Who's this? Royal City de Jusk. I know I'm butchering these names. Breweries. Belgoraj Breweries. He looks really happy. He's probably drinking a lot. Um, Byrax, sure. Democracy Fields Union. Free Army Bombas. Where's the pier again? Look at that jawline. Oh my god. That's a scarily impressive. I'm not gonna lie. Well, at least we got one guy here. Oh. Free Kashub State. But in the free city of Gdansk and the fortress of Melbork, 
Fighting all these other guys. Maybe. Uh, Kuya, Kuya via military state. And then, oh, okay. We're living in the past. All right. We need a lot of political power still, though. We're missing 9,000 manpower. What else is new with us? Um, that's why we're trying to core as much as we possibly can, as fast as we can. Uh, bureaucracy of Skarisien. Orthodox woman, Eva, Eva, Republic of Garwulun, Garwulun, Solar State. Oh, okay. Duchy of Rezaus. Novi Sax. I never know how to pronounce this. How do you pronounce this? Novi Sax? That sounds really weird. You got Sax? That's in 51. So right now, what do we have cord? Uh, well, we got some of this cord. I mean, there's a lot of resistance went on. It's going down overall. That just takes some time. Uh, can I actually want anyone else go to war with us too? You guys go out of here maybe? I know we have no, like, no political power right now, but I don't know. I kind of doubt there's anything else, but still, you never know. Oh, there's oh waterways there too. That sucks. Do that, and then you do that. And do that too. Um, Pomerelia. Yeah. Silesia's here. Oh, Austria's here too. I didn't realize that. Sebastian Kurz. Here's the Gorzelik. Alright then. Uh, solar State. Oh, happy November now. It's 2030, huh? Basic OPSEC. Sure. Vova Senok. Ukraine. Oh. Ah. Republic of Russia is in a civil war. But the Russian Federation is doing like whatever. Well, I'm going to assume there's nothing else here really, because people are killing each other. I don't know if we can really take this, because I don't know where Kaliz is. Great Southern Greater Poland. Because there's no options for us to go to war at all. Oh, maybe we can go to war. Oh, maybe we can go to war now? Like this? Would that be okay? Uh, I don't know. Because I don't see the option on the map. Because you, you, know, you have all these other decisions you can take. Integrate. Integrate. So... I don't see anywhere else around here as well. I really don't know my Polish geography, obviously, but, you know, still. Still. We don't have any planes either. We could try it. Yeah, we don't have enough manpower, though. Still. Um, well, I got one more to core. Oh, this core states we were to core. Nice. Well, this is probably a bad idea. Air Force Defense. Ow! Damn, Dutch, I'm glad we went over here. What is this? Technology, technological supremacy, huh? Well, we'll see just infantry, so probably up this route is probably not going to be the way what we want. Um, conventional warfare, probably the way we really want. Maximum command power increase. Look, I see the Warsaw Pact. Lose organization, I don't like that though. More breakthroughs, nice. More soft sack for infantry defense. Supply usage goes down by quite a bit, or a legacy of NATO. 
Yeah, probably go Legacy of Nato. That seems pretty good overall. Then we have Asymmetric Warfare. <coughs> a lot of militia stuff. More soft, plus 10% more soft attack is not bad. Um. Oh, there's a lot more progress. And then CQC Theory. It's not bad. Melee infantry soft attack. If you recover rate, that's interesting. It's probably the most interesting one here. Best of the best. Weekly war support, plus 5%. Wow. Uh, for the horde. Um, minus 50% supply consumption. Minus obedience. Do the army speed gain? You know, it's interesting. I'll go this one, though. Where are we at with this? Are we still losing even the new enemy force defense? Yeah, we are. Okay, so this isn't going well. What are we supposed to do about this then? You can't just can't compete. You literally just cannot compete. So I think we might just end the campaign here because we don't have the industry really. You don't have the military really. Uh, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do here. So uh, yeah, I guess that's going to be it for the campaign. Um, we could do more, but. There's no decision to do any of this, but I guess we'll all wait and see in another campaign. So, if you enjoyed the campaign, you know, I guess I'll leave a like, uh, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another episode or another video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.